Well, it was a, uh, a good game, you know, by Dell State, obviously, with uh, Coach Hill. And uh, I see she learned some stuff while she was here because she threw it at us. <laughs> but uh, um, we came out with the win, and I, I think we started slow, but we got back in the groove. I think she did well. I think she made some adjustments. Um, and, you know, as her mentor, I was feeling kind of proud. But at halftime, I was a little mad because <laughs> they were close in the game. And uh, But I think she did a great job, and she's doing a great job, you know, just watching her team from the beginning of the season till now. Uh, for you guys, kind of a slow start offensively. Um, part of it having to do with some early foul trouble as well. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel like they did battling back from that and, and having to sit three starters early? Yeah, it, it, it uh, you know, kind of, we had to make some adjustments, obviously, and bring some people off the bench. But, you know, you see those people that came off the bench, there was no drop off. And we got ourselves together and righted the ship. And then especially uh, in the second quarter and the third quarter, we started to, to you know, pull away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and which is different for this team this year. We do have a lot of depth um, and very skilled players. So, you know, they may start on somebody else's team. But working together with our team, you know, we've got a lot of strength all the way up and down the, the roster. Um, all around game-wise, I thought for T-Mac tonight, this might have been one of the best games mm -hmm. um, in her short career here uh, in, in terms of getting people involved, rebounding, defending, scoring. I mean, she just put it all together tonight. It may not be the flashiest stat line, but she just seemed, she seemed confident out there tonight. Um, just your thoughts on the way she played? Yeah, she is definitely – her confidence is, is – um, just been built upon her work ethic and she does does a great job in the gym she's in there extra time in the gym with her position coaches and her confidence has risen and so has her game so you know we look at the stats and you know she's pretty even across the board she's doing it on both sides of the ball I think she do it um, eight rebounds tonight and she's not like battling underneath and you know a little had an eye yes uh, the yes kind of tracks down the long or, right or yeah. You know, that's something that helps you prepare for a team that has a kind of nine type of player when you have someone who can, can do the same. Yeah, and, and, you know, again, you know, sometimes you look and she's coming from nowhere, you know, and, you know, has a nose for the ball. Not only does she have a nose for the ball, but, you know, she prides herself in pushing herself, and she does that, tra tracking down loose balls, you know, those 50-50 balls, we call them, and she goes after them. Yeah, they didn't, and, and, you know, just sitting for a while and getting to watch the game and, and be able to see where they can be effective without fouling. And so they came back in and did a great job. Uh, and then in some of those lulls where you were hitting those scoring fouls, um, Aaliyah showed why she's Aaliyah Nelson and had those moments where she just took over the game. Yeah. Um, and, and that's what you need from her. You know, you need her to be like, you know what, I can't facilitate right now. I've got to just right. take over. Yeah, you know, with with the Leah, sometimes we have to tell her to shoot the ball, and we said it several times today: shoot the ball. And uh, she's so unselfish, but then you know she also knows how to to score when she needs to, and so she looked at the opportunities and knocked down shots. You know, sometimes people bring in players, and their you know, fans or commentators will be like, "Okay, why did they bring this player?" And they'll look for that reason or that play that says, "This is why Falcon brought so and so in." Um, Peanut tonight with that block. Mm -hmm. Picked up and led the break, and Quinn Fulmore running the court. Is that the play that shows this is why we brought um, Anissa Rivera here? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, she's a, a phenomenal player, um, and and as our team, you know, is we've got so many good, strong pieces all up and down the line, and and uh, you know, you wonder how we are managing with seven new players, but they are fitting in well. Yeah, we asked both. 
Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, early in the season, I had to pinch myself because, you know, they get along so well. The chemistry is just off the charts and they genuinely love each other. They're with each other on and off the court. So it's been great. And it's, uh, you know, a, a great thing for a coach. Just making sure that we do the things that we've been practicing, you know, the touts and basketball with our up-tempo and with our defense. And, and we've added a defensive component this year um, and, and kind of a building on that. So we've got to continue to do that and, and be poised, you know, as we go on this road trip. You know, we're going to face some teams that are very aggressive defensively. So we have to maintain our poise and our confidence. Um, yeah, we got off to a slow start, but as the game like went on, we picked it up. We knew we had to pick it up in order to beat the team. 11 points for you tonight, 8 rebounds as well. What do you think about your game individually? I mean, every shot wasn't falling, but I knew I had to get it back on the other end in order to help with me um, making like baskets and stuff. So I knew my defense would fuel my offense, so I just kept doing what I had to do on defense. I feel like I have to fill their shoes, not only me, but everybody else who's coming off the bench. Like, we just have to be ready to go no matter what the situation is, no matter if Aaliyah has three fouls, no matter if Ryan has three fouls. We just have to always be ready to play. Um, year two for you, obviously, here now. How has your progression gone? What, what's changed from your game, uh, in your game from this year from last year? I feel like I've got more confident in myself and my ability to shoot, um, coming off of ball screens. Like, I just feel like I've put in so much work and now it's finally showing this year. Asked Allie about the chemistry also uh, with this group, new group this year. What's it been like for you uh, getting to know this group and finding your role in this offense? Yes, we're definitely very close this year than we were last year. And I feel like um, us being close off the court is translating to on the court. So I feel like that's helping us uh, be a better team, be teams and yeah. That's um, for you, Mm -hmm. I know I'm on the court to shoot the ball, so I need to shoot, um, get my teammates involved. Defense is definitely a key thing that I um, need to do when I step on the court. So those are all my motives for the game. Uh, six assists for you as well tonight. Um, talk about that and just kind of helping the offense get into a rhythm by getting people involved. Mm -hmm. yeah, my shots weren't falling, so I knew um, I need to get other people involved to score. That way, you know, we could pick it up. And, like, they picked up my slack. and. Um, that's pretty much what fueled the win. Talk a little about the transition game. Cause, I mean, I think that's one of the places you're, you're really dangerous is in that transition. Mm -hmm. um, when you get into transition, how do you decide uh, whether you're going to pull up and shoot or you're going to dish the ball off? I mean, if I'm open, I should shoot most of the time. But um, if I see, like, Ali running down the court, I'm going to get it to her. Like, I just, I don't know, I just play with my eyes open all the time. So if I see somebody open, I'm going to pass it to them. We definitely have to start out early. We can't let them get a lead, and then we try to fight our way back into the game. We have to get get to them as soon as we step on the court. Like, it should be no drop-offs. We shouldn't let them score as much. And, yeah, we just have to keep our energy up. Um, I think, well, we got good dub, number one. But I think the first half was a little bit slow. Uh, we weren't making our shots. Uh, transitionally, we didn't, we didn't you know, run the floor like we could have. Defensively, we weren't getting stops. But um, halftime, coaches, you know, gave us that little pep talk, and we picked up second half. But, um, yeah, it was a good win. Uh, and three, three of the starters pick up early foul trouble yeah. as well yourself, hmm. Tina and, uh, and Ryan. Um, we've talked with others about the depth of this team. So. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, I know, I believe in my teammates. I know that if, you know, Team Mac gets um, in foul trouble, I get in foul trouble, we always have a backup. And, like, they're talented. Everybody on our bench is talented. So I know that there's no, there's not going to be a drop off on anybody. So um, that's something that we didn't really have last year. So I'm kind of excited for it this year. 16 points for you tonight. Um, just your thoughts on how you played individually. Obviously, you mentioned the slow start. Yeah. When you were able to get some more solid playing time. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, in the first half, I wasn't really being as aggressive as I should have been and running in transition. That's where most of my points really came from, was um, from our point guards giving me the ball in transition and just looking for um, you know, running. But um, second half, I was definitely a little bit more aggressive on the boards. I know that's a lot of second chance points is where I got my points from. So just being a, lot, a little bit more aggressive second half. We've got others this too, um, but you know, pretty big difference in the cast this hmm. year. Yeah, I think that uh, this year we have a, a, lot, a lot better chemistry. I think we hang out with each other a lot more. Um, we believe in each other a lot more, and we have different weapons. You know, last year Melo was our main scorer, but you really never know with this team. Like it could be T Mac who's hot or me who's hot. You know, so they got to play everybody, all five, not just one person or two. So. And for you, what are some goals that you have both individually and that you have for the team as you move into your second year? Um, individually, I think I need to rebound a little bit more, try and get a little more double doubles. Um, and then team-wise, I think our defense has really picked up from last year, but you know we can always get a little bit better. Uh, stop trading buckets as much, and um, just try and get back on defense. Defensively, for you, uh, you know, along with Team and uh, Ryan Evans, Rain Tucker, mm -hmm. obviously Sky, and Team Mac tonight too, as right. well, getting the strips and the blocks. What does solid defense that turns into offense? What does that do for you guys, confidence-wise and, and momentum-wise? Yeah. Um, if you saw the, I mean, obviously saw the game, but like when we got them score the steals, they turn into transition points, and you know, everybody's hype. Everybody's we're getting threes, we're getting steals. We're, you know, it's just it's just like a momentum builder, you know. So I think that's what really helpful. Do, do those baskets do that really get you guys going? Like it doesn't matter if you're involved in the play or not. Yeah. Or yeah, for sure. I mean, you can look over. We got transition threes. You look over the bench; they're all standing up. You know, putting their threes in the air. It's really exciting. So. Right. What do you take from this game to get ready for ECU? I think ECU is a little bit is a better team than like De they're like Delaware State better. You know, they like to press, they run transition, they have bigs just like Delaware State did. So I think that um, you know, like this today's game, we need to really pick up our transition defense and um, you know, stop them getting post touches.